She's 23 and she would just like some more volume in her breast and so we're going to mark her first and I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you all the things that are important and then we'll take you in the operating room. Okay, so we just finished marking. I want to show you what we did. Here she is with her midline mark, so that's her chest bone, respecting her natural space right here so we can give her beautiful cleavage. This is also her fold, and this is where her incisions are going to be, small little two and a half centimeter incisions in her crease. And that's what we're gonna to use to place the implants in, silicone implants underneath the muscle. And they are gonna create nice natural fullness right in this area right here. Okay, so uh, some things that are really important to mark for brush augmentation patients it's always important to know where your midline is. So symmetry is really important. And that's important for some patients because some patients are a little bit different. So as you can see with our beautiful patient here, she naturally has one breast that's a little bit smaller than the other. And that's very, very typical of a lot of patients. Sometimes if that difference is very significant, then we can also um, do implants of different sizes. But in her case, it is very, very little, and so we don't need to do that. What I'm marking right now is her inframammary folds. So that's really good because that will give her that nice natural crease. And her incisions are actually going to be located small and little in her fold. So this is what I'm gonna do right now. So as you can see, I make my incisions about two and a half centimeters large or small. So they're very, very small. They hide beautifully in her skin crease after we've done the surgery, and no one will ever see those. So they're gonna hide nicely in her natural, natural skin lines. I like to measure to make them nice and symmetric so that they're perfectly even. And then the other thing that I like to do is I always like to make sure that we respect the natural space that she has for her chest bone, or her sternum. This is really important because I'm gonna give her great cleavage with her implants, but I always wanna make sure that they don't get too close together because that's how we get that synmastia, which is very difficult to correct and doesn't look natural at all. And there she is. You're gonna see she's gonna fill all this volume right in here through these little incisions, and that'll be her surgery. Okay, so here's the OR and we're about to go in and start our case. We'll film a little bit, so come on and check it out. You can see 
I'm not touching the implant. I am only using the funnel to slowly and carefully put that implant inside the body. Here we are, she's all finished. 275 high profile. You can see she has great, great cleavage, nice and round. Her incisions are super small, uh, right in her fold. And uh, she did great in surgery and her results gonna get even better in a month or two. Feminine fullness, it really suits her uh, body and she looks super cute.